Hello and welcome to the fourth tutorial of PHP. In this tutorial, we will create our first program. So let's go and start. <coughs> Before we start the uh, coding, first of all, we need to start our XAMPP or our server in order to execute our PHP codes in browser. So to uh, start the <coughs> server, just right click here and in here write XAMPP and you can see XAMPP control panel is here also from here also you can activate it and uh, from the place where you have installed your uh, XAMPP server from there also you can uh, activate it so you can see uh, this is the place where I have installed my uh, XAMPP server you may uh, install it on a dr different drive uh, as you can see I have installed on a C drive so I will come here in some folder and then you can see ZAM control is here and I will click here so I will start it from here now it's appear here in my screen and from here for now I only need Apache it is a server where I'm executing my PHP programs so I will start this one and also for now I don't need but I will start my SQL also <coughs> so our server is run let's check it Open your browser and in here write uh, click, write local host enter so as you can see it's, it means it is activated or the second method to know it's active or not and you can see Apache and MySQL is here in the red color in the green color it means Apache and MySQL is started activated or these three services are what these three services are uh, deactivated they are stopped so I will go here and create the first program inside the ZAMP folder and inside the ZAMP folder I will go to the htdocs folder and the previous record we have created a folder by the name of what by the name of it couple so i will delete this folder and i will show you again so i'll create a folder and this folder will be the root folder for us this is the folder where we will store all of our php files html file inside this folder to execute it from what uh, server so I'll provide a name for this folder for example Kabul you can provide your own name Kabul I provide Kabul Kabul is easily for me to access now I'll enter inside this folder and right click here open with code so I'll right click and open with code because to access this folder inside my code studio So I have created a folder by the name of Kabul and now I want to access it inside my Visual Studio. Uh, you can see this is the folder that I have created. Now I will create the first what program of PHP. So just click here new file and provide a name for this file. I will provide the name of index.php enter so same like HTML 
In HTML, we have studied that uh, every uh, opening tag having a closing tag. Same here, we have an opening tag, bracket open, question mark, then PHP. This is the opening tag. I'll zoom it. Bracket open, question mark, then what? PHP. And then close it here. Question mark and bracket close. You can see, this is closed. Now, I want to print a string inside this tag. So, I will say, echo and print a string. To print the string, we need to add what? Single quotation or double quotation. So, I will write here double quotation and say, welcome. to first pro program of php control s save it then at the last add here a semicolon control s remember to add the semicolon otherwise you will uh, your program will give error so now I want to execute this folder, uh, this program in my browser. So how to execute it? To execute it, just open your Google Chrome and in here write <laughs> local host slash the name of the folder that I have created the file of PHP. I have created in this what? In this couple. You can see the folder name is Kabul. So I will just write here Kabul. Then enter. So you can see the program is printed here. Welcome to the first program of PHP. Now, if I don't write here the, and if I uh, if I don't add this semicolon here, what will happen? I will show you by print. And then single quotation. It's okay if you add sim. You can uh, write it down by uh, write it down by single quotation also and by double quotation also. So I will add single quotation. <coughs> this is the second welcome to PHP. And I will remove this semicolon. Let's see now what will happen. You can see it gave me an error. So <laughs> I have to add what? Semicolon. I'll add semicolon. Now control S. So as you can see, welcome to the first program of PHP. This is the second welcome to PHP. So both echo and print are same. There's a minor difference between echo and print. <coughs> uh, both of them are language construct, uh, but only uh, echo is slightly faster than print. Okay, and <coughs> not that much difference between this. So what we need here, if I add another program also here how to access that see i write here second pro second dot php i have created another uh, program by the name of second and extension of php enter and i will write here php then I will close this tag, tag of PHP and I will write my what message, I will say this is sorry echo, this is the second welcome, semicolon, control S, now if I enter here, I cannot access that program, 
the second program so to access this program just here after the name of the folder write the name of your file so the name of my second file is second so i will say second dot php so you can see this is the second welcome the second program is also uh, printed here so now what we need here i have mentioned to you uh, friends that we can add the code of php inside html code so let's add it let's add this code i'll cut this i'll cut this and i will just simply add the abbreviation of html i'll just press shift and one then enter and change the title name here to first program then i want to print this uh, this is the second welcome i want to print it bigger so i'll just add here h1 and h1 close so this is the opening tag of h1 and this is the closing tag of h1 and inside this i will add the code of what php my php code then control s now let's see you can see this is uh, printed a letter bigger <coughs> so <coughs> now if i uh, right click here and inspect this you can see I can see here the HTML tags here, but I cannot see the what <coughs> the PHP tags. You can see I have mentioned you friends on the first tutorial that the user cannot be able to view the source code of PHP on the what browser on the page. So that's why it's called a secure program. <coughs> whenever you have access, uh, whenever a page of uh, PHP is accessed, the code of PHP is transformed to what? Transformed to HTML. See, you can see, you can only view here HTML code. You are not able to see the what PHP code. So I hope you understand this lectures. And we will see in the next, next lecture. Thank you so much.